हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज दर्शन महाराजा वेलकमिंग यू टू एपिसोड नंबर 29 ऑफ द एलिवेटर चैट सीरीज ऑफ आवर कैनेडियन जर्नी येस्टरडे आई पोस्टेड अ फोटो ऑन ट्विटर शोइंग अ साइन आउटसाइड अ फूड बैंक इन ब्रैमटन दैट सेड नो इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स माय पोस्ट स्पार्कड ऑफ अ डिबेट अंडरस्टैंडेबली एंड सम ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्सिज वर टू द इफेक्ट दैट इट वॉज रॉन्ग of the food bank to be doing this one person specifically said that uh, denying someone food isn't right in general i would agree with this sentiment as i suppose many canadians would perhaps even most canadians would but like any other principle this one also depends on the context so i feel that this laudable sentiment is misplaced here for two main reasons Firstly the rules relating to study permits for international students require that the prospective student shows proof that they have sufficient funds to support themselves in Canada for the duration of their studies as i have mentioned earlier in articles and podcasts there is considerable malpractice in this area it is well known in the south asian community especially here in the gta and more especially in brampton that many of the students coming from india show this proof based on short term loans that their families took out in india these students are under pressure to send the money back to india within 6 to 8 months of their arrival in canada their proof notwithstanding they do not have the funds required to sustain themselves in canada In addition these students are allowed to work for up to 40 hours a week and many of them do so granted there is much exploitation happening in their employment from wages below the legal minimum all the way to non payment by unscrupulous employers but that problem has to be solved at a different level in a different arena secondly and it pains me to say this publicly getting free food is part of the plan of many international students from india maybe from other countries as well but i don't have knowledge of that so let's stick to india and the large majority of students are from india if you go to youtube and search for free food international students canada you will see tons and tons of videos instructing viewers on how to obtain free food in canada as an international student in many of these videos the presenters are actually bragging about it in blunt terms the tone of some of these videos amounts to look at how much of a fool canadians are and how we the smart ones are taking advantage of them there is some element of pride that i detect in some of these videos some of these students may be needy but most aren't besides whatever happened to the requirement that they should be self sufficient in canada while they are students the practical effect is that the limited supplies available at the food bank are now not available to needy canadians including people with disabilities the homeless and the like on my twitter post some people criticize the food bank for its policy but i think they are right This particular food bank has about 3000 regular clients who depend on them to feed their families. The food bank's priority is to feed them first. As the adage goes, resources are finite and have alternative uses. And finally, this is yet another instance where politicians and politically connected people have created a mess that has resulted in canadians being divided on the issue and fighting each other one respondent on my twitter post said that in his small town looks to be in northern ontario the local church run food bank has been overrun by international students causing much friction these students are also living in tents and as cold weather approaches there are genuine concerns about the well-being of these students it is worth remembering here that international students pay hefty fees 
about triple the rate for domestic students. But the colleges that admit them have shown a shameless disregard for the most basic needs of the students. The whole study permit policy has degenerated into a multifaceted fraud, where the dishonest make a killing, the honest suffer, and Canadians end up being divided and fighting among themselves. My view is that the entire policy of study permits needs to be scrapped and then rebuilt from scratch, incorporating safeguards against all the problems and malpractice that we have witnessed so far. Sadly, I don't think there is the requisite political will to do that. Too many powerful interests stand to lose billions of dollars if we do that. Apart from that, such an exercise has the potential to be spun into accusations of racism, which would cost a lot of votes to any politician proposing the makeover. We'll just have to wait until this misbegotten policy collapses under its own weight. And by policy, I mean as it has morphed, not as it was originally intended. It will at some point collapse under its own weight. In that case, it will be ordinary Canadians who will once again bear the brunt of the fallout. Do you agree? Please let me know in the comments. Until we meet again, goodbye and be well.